Hello. Facebook Live with Les. And, and Beth. And Beth. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, uh, this is going to be a fun night. I got to wait for people to come on though. I normally whistle. Have you heard me do my beginning? No. Until somebody gets on, I whistle. And then I always talk about <laughs> what you think of my whistling. <laughs> so, oh, somebody's on. Donnie Stevens is on. I didn't get to whistle all that much. That's probably good, right? <laughs> yeah. She doesn't think I can whistle all that well. You don't. Because I don't. It's true. Well, uh, as folks are coming on, let me just tell you a little bit about what's going on. This is still Facebook Live with Les, Southern Gospel Music. Gonna get music tonight. Memorabilia, you're gonna get some of that. It's gonna be personal memorabilia. Well, and some old vinyl. So yeah, regular old memorabilia. Memories and ministry. We're still gonna take a look at God's word here in a little bit and uh, have a big time. Now the reason I'm doing it with Bev tonight is I got this idea a couple, three weeks ago as it hit me that uh, we are going to be having an anniversary, which in fact happened yesterday. And it was our 37th uh, year of marriage. We uh, knew each other three and a half years before that. So we're, as far as knowing each other, we're past the 40-year uh, mark. And I thought of something today. <laughs> this <laughs> oh, no. is, is going to make you feel all, even older. Great. We've known each other through the decade of the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010. 2020. Yeah, but it was only like two hours in two th the 70s. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> it was New Year's Eve. I'm just saying. Well, and technically it was before, it was even before that. I'll yeah. hit that in a minute, but seven, seven, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, 2020, 2010s, wait a minute, <laughs> 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, 10s, 20s, okay, six decades. Now, your old buddy Les looks like he's been hanging around for six <laughs> decades. Not this one, but proofs in the pudding. Okay, now you mentioned, so 37 years anniversary yesterday. Uh, I hope there's some husbands and wives on tonight because it's going to be a, a good, uh, happy uh, anniversary uh, program today. And, and husbands and wives will be especially blessed by it. Anybody can watch young, old, single, doesn't matter. But um, be good for the couples. Now, you mentioned, uh, okay, kind of officially, our first meeting really was December 31st, 1979. Yes. Okay, you were uh, at my church. Your dad uh, preached at my church. And uh, it was New Year's Eve, thus the December 31st. Hello. And mm -hmm. uh, after we had a, a watch night service, and then we went down to the basement date afterwards and all that kind of stuff. But two months before then, my dad preached at your dad's church. Yeah, but I wasn't there that night. And I was, I was there singing. Yeah. Okay, she's there. right then. It's December 31st. <laughs> I wasn't there that night, yeah. All I know is I was at her church we in October. We had something at school that night. Okay, all right. So, okay, like I said, <laughs> December 31st, <laughs> 1979. So that's a little over 40 years ago. So, uh, so okay, so we got that. So then, okay, so that night... Um, my cousin Gail was going around in the basement, running around screaming at the top of her lung. <laughs> L.A. likes you, L.A. likes you, L.A. likes you. L.A. is my initials. <laughs> and she was telling the whole world that I, that I liked her. And I must admit, I thought she was pretty cute. That's for sure. And so, uh, let's see what she thought of me going early on. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> no comment, she says. <laughs> No, you thought I thought you I were too old for me. A whole lot older than than her, mm -hmm. and I am older. I mean, obviously, a uh, few years and all that, but uh, not that much. Three, three years. Three years. And so, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> but I mean, I've always, you know, <laughs> you know, whatever. Uh, you have a baby, and 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 you're leaving the hospital, and the doctors and nurses will give the mother you know, a sack with, you know, like baby powder and diapers and all that stuff. Oh, they put a shaver in my mom's <laughs> bag because I've been old from day one. And so I looked, as I do today, way more than three years older than her. But she thought I was uh, too old. Yeah. Wrong. 
<laughs> and so, uh, so there, there was our illustrious start. And uh, what else can we say about the start there? Uh, well, oh, let's talk about this. Okay, so when she graduated, <laughs> you can't, this is all fuzzy and stuff, so you really can't see it, but, but she printed off something that she found online the other day. It's in our yearbook. If this is, you can't tell, it's in her yearbook. I'll show you a little bit about it there, but then I'm going to read something. <laughs> okay, this is in her yearbook, and it says, where, let's see, show me here. Oh, right here. Donna, who is her best friend, and, and your... Uh, she's my maid of honor. Maid of honor yeah. Yeah, she at our wedding. Columbia. She lives close to us. Yeah, Columbia, Tennessee. I hope she sees this. Uh, she's, in the yearbook, it says... <laughs> They had they had no idea how somewhat prophetic this was. Well, and this is in Illinois too. You got to put it into perspective. It's Chicago, so you know we always me and Donna wanted to. We kept saying we wanted to move to Nashville, so thus became what they predicted for us. Yes, and so the yearbook <laughs> says this: Donna and Bev will become famous on Hee Haw. <laughs> As a pair of, of course, of fiddlers whose theme song will be together. Because Donna played the fiddle. She did play the fiddle. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they had no idea how it was pretty prophetic because she married a man that has worked with people from Hee Haw. Uh, I've interviewed a bunch of them and, and just, and, and, and they were really close with the Hee Haw thing, you and Donna. Yeah. But, hey, friends and neighbors. That tells you why I had to latch on to her. I mean, we're up in Chicago, and she gets voted the most likely to be on Hee Haw. Come on. And then, okay, so you're, okay, it was this, okay, it was on this day. This was, what was this? The uh, senior banquet. Senior banquet, right yeah. there. She wasn't at her senior banquet. And why is that? I was at a Kingsman concert with you. <laughs> <laughs> She was at a Kingsman concert with me. Friends and neighbors, I knew I had the right woman. There was no <laughs> doubt about it. Okay, so we've talked about Kingsman. All right, so here's going to be our first little bit of music. So this would have been, this is 1979, so this is when, when we met. And so this record was as hot as a blue blazing pistol when we, uh, when we first met. So I'm going to play something off of the Kingsman Live, Chattanooga Live. However, I first got to get it out of this thing. Uh, let's see here. Let's do the beginning. It's a good one. Traveling home. Let's do that. I got to move this right here. See, I told you this was going to be fun. And hey, do, do me a favor. Uh, hit the share button and uh, tell the fish story. Also, Matt says, y'all are old. We know. <laughs> Matt's my son. Kimberly's my daughter-in-law. I love Kimberly way more than my son. She... She doesn't bother me like my son. She doesn't. She doesn't say I'm old. My son says you're old. Um, so anyway, uh, we'll read some more things. But okay, so so some music. So when we were first going together, this is the Kingsman album. That when we went to see the Kingsman, this is what they were singing right here. So let's go ahead and play the very first cut from Chattanooga Live. We're happy tonight to see this tremendous. Jay Basil Mall. Church or Mall's 19th anniversary. Ain't that right, Miss Mall? That's Miss Mall right there. <laughs> oh, I like that. I'm keeping that. And Mrs. Mall. And now we have the mighty I love this Kingsman intro. Quartet from Asheville, North Carolina, the Kingsman Quartet. Come on! Oh, yeah. Hey, Isaac, if you're watching, you're going to love this. Here comes Raiden Reese. Look out. Nick Bruno. Right. Sing it, Ray. 
supposed to be at her senior, what was banquet. it, banquet. Instead, she was... Each day as she goes to Rock and Rock Pets, was shining with the perfect love. So glad, so glad I to walk with the heavenly dove. I miss Ernie. Senior banquet, she was with the Kingsman with me in, uh, where, where were we? Was that in South Bend, maybe? I think it was. South Bend, Indiana. Morris Civic Auditorium, right there. So there's some of the memorabilia right there. Chattanooga Live. Uh, either my number one Kingsman record or, or number two, almost number one. But anyway, that's great stuff right there. Okay, so um, I read some. What do we got? Read some stuff here while I get something else ready. Who's on with us? Uh, let's see. We got Tammy Taylor, Ed Drury, Daniel Ledford, Terry Carter. Hey, Terry. Kimberly Butler. Hey, Kimberly. Stacy Piercy. Brother Stacy. Ed Drury. Ed Drury. Brian Sugg. Okay. And Heather Whitman. What Is that Mike and Lisa? So Mike and Lisa are on here. Hey, Mike and Lisa. Hey, Mike and Lisa. How you doing? My mom and dad are on here. My friends, our friends from Florida. My mom and dad. Mom and dad. Can't Aunt help. Sue. Hey, Sue. What's up, Sue? You're going to like today. It's going to be good. Sherry Taylor. <laughs> hey, Sherry. Everybody got their spouses, those who have spouses? Get your spouses. We're going to have some dessert together here in a little bit even. Um, this is date night with Les and Beth. Steve Thanks Allen. Hey, Steve Allen. I saw Terry Willits. What's up, Terry? Terry Okay, so, okay, so uh, if we've got some couples on there, just real quick, not a, not a long story, because maybe we'll read a couple here in a minute. Um, tell me uh, how y'all met, kind of where and all that. We met first in, uh, well, Griffith, Indiana, and that was on uh, December 31st, 1979. And by the way, we met at the place where everybody should meet their spouse in church. There's a little bit of the ministry hitting you right between the eyes. Good place to find a good husband or a good wife is in a good church. Amen. Now, all right, let's see. Um, okay, so <laughs> we're going to go back to your high school days for a minute. Okay. I love this story. I mean, it was this was meant to be. She and I were meant to be. There's no doubt about it. So I understand you got in trouble one day at school. Yeah. What would you do? <laughs> I was listening to a Henson's cassette in class. <laughs> <laughs> she listened to some Henson music. and, then, and uh, I went to a Christian school, and they were very, very strict about the music program. So that was, like, considered, you know, on the fringe of being bad. So they took my Henson cassette away. It was Hen songs. It was my favorite. I was very, very upset. Hen songs. I've got that. I need to run back there and get that. Okay, I'll do that while the next song's playing. And I find, and I, evidently I'm, I'm wrong because I had, I, I had something picked out here because I thought you were also going to say um, Hemp Hills Live, Louisiana Live. No, we listened to that on our senior trip. Senior trip, they let you do it, but then they kicked oh, you out of yeah. school for the Hensons. Well, no, our, the guy that took us on our senior trip, he didn't care. So we had okay. to listen to all the good stuff then. All the good stuff on the senior trip, which, by the way, where would you go on your senior trip? Nashville. <laughs> And what, listen to this, what did you steal on your senior trip? I steal it. It was on the ground. It was just laying there. It was a brick from Conway Twitty's house. 
a brick from Conway Twitty's house. But which, I did not steal it. <laughs> it had fallen off and it was just laying there on the ground. It was meant to be, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was teetotally <laughs> meant to be. Okay, so, all right, you were listening to the Hip Pill. So I'm going to play some Hip Pills music, and I'm going to go find hint songs because God is on that hint song record. So, okay, you tell me which one of these, what do you want to hear? Mm, I have to think. I'm not going to choose all music tonight. Good things. She's got a great ear. Okay, good things. Good Where things. is it? One, two, okay, so let me see here. Let me see. Good Matt things. said he and Kimberly met in church. That's right. Jamie Simmons said they met at church. There you go. Like I said. I don't think I was kidding about the church thing. That's where you meet a good woman and a good man. All right, now let me see if I can get close to this good things here. Am I close? That's he's still working on me. I don't know. I don't have the back of the floor over you song, right? He's still working on me. Oh, it's a live record. But it's a live record. Yeah. Let me what see. What does it mean when it's you next. say the Lord oh. gave me this song? I don't know. She had a good answer. Uh, all right, I'm going to sk no. skip this a little bit. All right, here we go. Good thing. I'm going to go find his song. We'll be back. My sweet wife got th thrown out of school because of that song right there, because of that record. You got thrown out of school. It just got taken away from me. Oh, okay. I made it a little worse than actually. Yes, you did. <laughs> but, uh, okay. So, okay, you mentioned uh, his songs, which I've got in my other office, so I don't have that here. But do you, did you find something that makes sense from the, from the Hensons? Um, you give me the Till the Land. That was Til close. The Land. Till the Land was on the Song Vineyard album. Okay, while you're doing that, let's talk about this. We got, it's always been, oh, here, I'll show you this. Here's some of the Southern, Linda and I met on Facebook. Yeah, let's read some of these real quick. You read them. Um, let's see, Mike Keller said, Linda and I met on Facebook one Sunday night after I was returning from a singing on the bus. I checked my messages and saw where she had commented on a post of mine, so I went to her page and asked her, 
if she was a Linda Loggins I went to school with, and she said yes. I asked for a phone number. The rest is history. Come on, Mike Keller. All right. Uh, what else we got? Timothy Joe Butler said Jesse and I met in church. Yes, sir. Rebecca Ann Roberts, my husband and I have our first date June uh, 15th, 1988 at church. He asked him to marry him that night. On their first date? I believe so. She said we married two weeks later. Who is this? <laughs> Rebecca Ann Roberts. Son, y'all don't let grass grow under your feet, <laughs> do you? <laughs> <laughs> Troy Henry says they're celebrating their 15th on the 18th. Our son. He said, what did he say? He said he something said, goofy. He said Kimberly saw him at his granddad's church and said he was hot. I don't know about that, Kimberly. <laughs> Is that well, what you said? Okay, I've got, <laughs> I got one. Th I mean, I, I done told you. Your mom thought I was old, so that was her first comment. But I'm going to say this, boy. You look a little like me. I'm just saying. That means if you're hot, your old man's got some hot air. <laughs> Deal with that. Okay. Anything else there to read real quick uh, or no? Yeah, no okay, so. all right. So, um, in September of 1978, I got to uh, go on the air, to be paid to go on the air. I started at w WJOB 1976 in the Radio Explorers Club, but I got my first paying gig at WYCA 92.3 FM, 6336 Calumet Avenue, uh, Hammond, Indiana. Uh, 219-933-4455 or 312-734-4455. Friends and neighbors, that was, how many years ago is that? 78. That's 42 know. years ago. I remember the address and the phone numbers, and I couldn't tell you what I had this morning for breakfast. That's how many hours a day I put in that place from 1978 to 1984. But here in the Southern Gospel Memorabilia, department. There is a picture of your old buddy Les back in the day working the board. See that phone right there? That phone had four lines and, the, and it was the two numbers that I just gave to you. And look pa back there past my head you will see these uh, big round things are called turntables. And let me see, can you see uh, some cart machines? No, you can't see the cart machines back there, but uh, cart machines is where we used to uh, play the commercials and look at my headset look at that nice cellophane tape job I put on my headset there to keep it from falling apart huh that's a long time ago yep look at the hair I had man I was bringing the hair where'd that go <laughs> okay so there's some of the memory okay now back then it's always been a family affair. My, um, I own, remember we owned a store called Crossroads Music. What street, you remember the street it was on? It was in Griffith. Uh, remember what street it was on? No, I don't. I took a picture of it the last time we were there, just a couple, three years ago, for a book I will write one day. And it'll be a dandy book, I promise you that. But anyway, so Crossroads Music, it was a Southern Gospel music store. We had albums and eight tracks and uh, cassettes. cassettes. And I uh, taught uh, Southern Gospel style piano. And a matter of fact, I may have some pictures of that. If not, I don't know. So anyway, but it's always been a family fair and I would promote concerts because I was on this mammoth FM station um, that was in the Chicago market. And so uh, I would bring in folks like the Henson's and Inspirations and, uh, and Spencer's. And I remember one night I had Heavenbound Galileans and the insp and the inspirations uh, all in one night. Anyway, just you name it, and and I. So it, anyway, so we would put up uh, uh, albums and things to sell, and there's my mom selling records right there, getting the job done. Here's my father-in-law. I brought him up to pray before one of the singings, and by the way, snazzy hair, brother Ken, <laughs> you got it going on there. Here's my father-in-law. Here's my dad. He's getting ready to come up on stage and pray at another singing. Waiting for his son to quit yapping. And check this out. What a great picture. So there I am in the background next to me. That one. In front of me is my Aunt Sue. Next to my wife on the next bench down is my mother. 
And there you see Archie Watkins rearing back. And check out old Mike Holcomb probably hitting a double OF. And there you see the old bear hunter. And uh, is that Troy? Yeah, that's Troy there by Mike. You can barely see Troy. But, man, we used to bring the inspirations in all the time, man. They would fill the place up. It was always a big deal. And absolutely just that <laughs> just blows my mind that 40-some years later, I'm in a quartet with that guy right there, Mike Holcomb, of the inspirations. Your grandfather would be as happy oh as a gosh. pig at a poke. Yes. That was his all-time favorites. He loved the inspirations. And... He went to glory a long time ago, but man, oh man. I don't know, you know, what they let you see down here. <laughs> but if if he's ever seen me with the old time preacher's quartet singing with Mike Holcomb, he was having a time up in heaven. But okay, so here's some more. Let's see. Well, wait a minute here. What to see? Henson's. Okay, we'll come back, we'll show you some more. Okay, so the Henson's is what got you. That's what I got in trouble for. They took it away okay. from me at school. Okay. So, this is right about that same time right here. So we're going to play a Henson song. And it's one of my all-time, it's probably, it's in my top five. You, top five? Ten? Oh, yeah. Okay. For here sure. we go. Man, this is good. Listen to these twin fiddles from Bruce Watkins. Woo, Bruce. Till the land, the Henson. I used to think. Country Kenny. We had a Stealing on, and while we wait, it's growing late till day is gone. Sing out to war, I know that name. I sing it all here, here, and that. There's no time to borrow. Get your spouses. We're going to get a dessert here in a minute. Make a greater co-host, Janetta. I may have to have her do this with me every night. <laughs> so many times. Oh, I like her. She's such a co-host. It's so pretty. Thanks, Janice. <laughs> yes, she is. Like fun rain. And we're all to blame. Tell like Brandon to hurry up and listen. And he for you to join the few and walk the free. tomorrow. i to the blind. Oh, yes. There's no time to borrow. It's summer. kind of music that Bev got taken away from her at school. She got in all kinds of trouble. I married a rebel rouser, man. <laughs> That's good stuff. Okay, Reed, who's on with us? Uh, let's see, Randy Gross. Hey, Randy. Newcastle, Indiana, or Knightstown, I think. Yeah. Where they're, yep. uh, and Janice. Janice, Janice said Janice you were pretty. On the, yes. You're right, Janice. Brian Epinette. Hey, Brian Epinette. Karen Gillespie. Karen. Hey, you sent me some songs, Karen. I hadn't heard them yet, but thank you for the Williamson's. I'll Josh get that Griffin. to him. 
What's up, Josh? Mary Scott. Mary Scott, good to see you. Emma Rigsby. Okay, good to see you. Timothy Mangus. Hey, Timothy. Get your spouses, everybody. It's date night with Les and Bev. Southern Gospel Music, which we've done. Two really good tunes. Uh, memorabilia, which we showed you some vinyl, showing you some old pictures. Memories, giving you lots of that. Our memories, anyway. And uh, there's a little hint of ministry, but more coming up here in a little bit. Okay, so let's see. What else can we do here? That'll be fun. All right, so here, again, family situation. This was, do you remember this? This was a talent contest that... Kind of. That tied into one of our singings. And uh, look at there. There's Miss Bev back there in the background giving out stuff. And, uh, and there she is, sure enough. And there I am giving out stuff. And then, okay, speaking of the Hensons, look at here now. There's my wife with Country Kenny and my cousin Gail. Look at there. That's good stuff right there. We are big Kenny Henson and Henson fans, are we not? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. We get to hang out with Ronnie a good little bit. If all goes well, Ronnie's singing on one of my songs for my new record. He wrote it, and um, he's going to sing bass. We're going to Henson it up. Man, it's going to be good. Okay, so let's talk. Um, well, we were talking early on still, so let's keep talking early on. So we talked, your your granddad, mm -hmm. this was his group right here, the Inspirations. Man, I'd go over, they lived in Lansing, Illinois. I'd go uh, over, she, Bev would get, she lived in Joliet, Joliet, Illinois, and I lived in Highland, Indiana. But on weekends, she would come spend the weekend with her grandparents, and I'd go see her. And uh, your, your granddad played eight tracks. Oh, yeah. He was an eight-track man. Yes. And he had all the inspiration eight-tracks. I tell you, somebody else he liked the Florida Boys. Yeah. And he the liked primitive. the Florida Boys. Yeah, he the loved primitive. the primitive. That was quartet. it. That was yeah. pretty much it. <laughs> it was a skinny list. That was it. He had a discriminate taste, <laughs> but a good taste, my kind of taste. But uh, so let me play an inspiration song here. For this is in honor of uh, Tag, your grandfather. We went and visited your grandfather and grandmother's web website. Lord have mercy. <laughs> the gravesite. Gravesite. Good night. <laughs> the other day, and uh, I thought a lot about uh, our times back then. He and I would watch the Cubs together. He had a stroke um, kind of early on, and uh, he had a, uh, what do you call it? A cane. A, a cane. And uh, when the music would play, he'd, he'd beat with the cane. And when the Cubs were losing, he'd hit the cane. <laughs> <clears throat> he had that cane going. But, okay, some inspirations music. And this one right here was as big as it gets. Huge song. We still sing it today. Old Time Preachers Quartet with Mike Holcomb. Inspirations, when I wake up. What a bad thought, some wonderful morning. Just to hear Gabriel's trumpet sound. When I wake up. When I wake up to sleep no more. Rising to meet our blessed Redeemer. With the glad shout, I'll leave the ground. When I We'll see you in Canmore on July 4th. I'll tell you about that later. <laughs> about the Island night. Hubby with you, Isla. We're gonna eat. We're gonna eat some dessert in a minute. Date night. Christy, Christy, let's go. Sing it, Mike. up 
up to sleep no more. Now, okay, now, I, I started in radio in 78, and this was just, you know, I had to play it every day when I was on the air. And uh, going back early, this was before, now, before we met, because we met December 31st, 1979. But I get a kick out of this. Her dad used to make her, when she turned on the radio to listen to anything, who'd you listen to? You. <laughs> me. Before she even knew me. I was sewing it into her, boy, this great music. <laughs> and uh, she'd go to bed on Saturday night when I was on. And for Sunday morning, she'd go to sleep listening to her what will be one day husband. What about that? That's a pretty cool little thing right there. Okay, uh, let's keep going. Okay, so that was your grandfather. Mm -hmm. So now your grandmother, who did she like? Oh, she was a Rambo's fan. Big Rambo's fan. Lucky what I just happened to have. Isla Knight, if I'd have known you were going to be on there, I'd have, I'd have got one of your Isla Knight songs. Man, Isla Knight wrote some of the best inspiration songs and Kingsman songs, too, for that matter. But, man, I loved her. her the combination of Isla and the inspirations love that. But Mildred, my wife's grandmother, loved the Rambos. Y'all used to sing Rambo music. Oh yeah, we'd sit on the bed, she'd play her guitar and sing Rambo songs every weekend. Here, you tell me which one of these that okay. she li liked, uh, liked um, a lot and I'll play it because that's got a bunch of their hits on it. Boy, uh, probably. Rambos are so good. Too much to gain to lose. Too much to gain yeah. to lose. That's a good one right there. Let me find it. Too much to gain. Okay, last one. Let me try to find it here. Y'all having fun? We're just playing old music. Just two old people. <laughs> Thanks. Playing old, <laughs> playing old you. music. Happy anniversary to me. Give, <laughs> giving you some. Giving just you two old people. Just two old people. Just giving you some memories and having some great uh, music as well. Yeah. Hey, Vaughn Powers. Brother Vaughn, I hope you're doing all right. I've been praying for you and, and your sweet wife. And I hope she's listening. This is date night. So, Brother Vaughn, this can be your all's date night. Because I know that you're, <laughs> you know, you're all just, you know, in quarantine and all that kind of stuff. And just hanging out. So, this is your date night. So, <laughs> one of you go get some dessert in a minute and you can eat some dessert with us. <laughs> Jeanette said one old person. <laughs> Jeanette, that was not nice. I kind of thought Janetta liked me a little bit, but she just threw me under the bus. Uh, okay, so here we are. So this is the Rambos. What song am I looking for again? Somebody asked what your daughter's name is. My daughter's name. <laughs> That's not nice. My daughter's name is Amber. My wife's name is Bev. <laughs> Which one am I looking for? Um, I already forgot. You just Too much to gain the lose? Yes, that's it. I see. Distracting. I don't know. This it's the last one on the side, too. I think this mm, might be it. it. That's it. Rambos was some sweet music and sweet singing here. up there if you agree with that. Too much now to gain to lose. No need to go back. Yeah. 
is one word I don't use. I love that line. Defeat is one word I don't use. I love that one. You gotta have a made up mind. <laughs> All right, Steve Montgomery, some Mayfield ice cream. Yes, sir. Mike Whitman, you're a braggart. Man, when she wrote a song, she made it count. You understand? When she wrote a song, it wasn't, you know, oh boy, yippee, hip, hip, hooray, I'm getting ready to have a good day, and all that. You know what I mean? She had something to say. And that too much to gain to lose. She was saying something. She was saying the truth. Man, it, we're too close. Don't you understand? Has anybody not read a newspaper or turned on any kind of news? Are you kidding me? You want to give up now at the finish line? We're not approaching the finish line. We're at the finish line. Too much to gain to lose, folks. Don't do it. You know, we've been married uh, 37 years, and I'm not bragging about that. You have to understand, it's God's grace, God's mercy that brought us through 37 years. Not me, not her, not us. The mercy and the grace of God. We may not see year 38. We're no more perfect than you were perfect. We're imperfect. I just believe we will see year number 38, if the Lord doesn't come back, by the grace and mercy of the Lord. Not because of me, not because of her, not because of our heritage, although that has helped us. These songs playing from her grandparents and my grandparents were all the music and what they sowed into me and my, my, both of my grandfather's deacons and song leaders and preaching daddy and, preach, and preaching daddy there. And, and so I thank God for the heritage, but it wasn't the heritage that's brought us through 37 years. It was the Lord Jesus Christ, man, grace and mercy, his word, standing on the promises of his word, not us. If we see year number 38, it's going to be because of him and not because of anything or anybody else. Amen. I was telling you the truth. Well, let's see here. I'll do, I've got so much stuff. We'll be here till two in the morning. We're going to have to break <laughs> this up, I think. Um, read, read to me some. Read, Miss Mo. Read, Miss Mo. <laughs> Jay, Jay Basil was blind, and so Lady Maul was with him 24-7, and when he, he was a preacher, when he preached, he would say, read, Miss Maul, and she would read the scripture, and he'd preach the scripture, and then he'd say, read again, Miss Maul. <laughs> <laughs> so you're Miss Maul tonight. Okay. Read, read. <laughs> All right. Patty Graham said, we had that record in the early 80s, my mom. Love the Rambos. Huge piece of furniture was the record player. Yes. <laughs> Ours was, too, like back Me then. Me, too. Yeah, they were huge. Who else? Rebecca else Ann Roberts, too much to gain to lose, favorite of mine. No one liked the Rambos. Yep. Yep. I got so much stuff. We'll be here till 2 o'clock. Let me see. Well, they don't want to be here till 2 o'clock. Y'all want to be here till 2 o'clock? Throw up some hearts. Ain't nobody <laughs> going to do that. Um, okay, let me think here a minute. Let me just think a minute. Condense it. Oh, yeah. No, we'll, we're going to... Will you do it again with me? Sure. She was nervous as a cat on a hot tin roof. I told her it's going to be okay. I don't do, do cameras. She doesn't do cameras. <laughs> the ugly one does the camera. The pretty one, she stays away from them. Now, go figure that. That's flipped around somewhere. D. Kent Nelkin says, amen. I guess you're amen on what I'm saying. Well, I just said the truth. Um, okay. All right, so when uh, I'll, I'll do I'll do one more, I think, and then I'm going to open up the word for just a minute. But uh, we talked about all your side of the family and all that. Now I'm going to give you just one little dose of mine. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And, uh, and so we're going to head toward the bluegrass area for my bunch because uh, they loved, well, they loved it all. I mean, my parents, what really turned me on to Southern gospel music was the fact that my parents um, were part of the Canaan Record Club. They joined the Canaan Record Club, which meant every month the new Canaan Record would be mailed to our house. And when I say Canaan Records, I'm talking... Uh, Happy Goodmans, I'm talking Florida Boys, I'm talking the Kingsmen at that point, Blue Ridge Quartet, Lewis Family, Old Hemp Hills, Cathedrals, uh, Cathedrals what Neelands. am I missing? Neelands, um, it goes on and on. And so, I mean, Southern Gospel, we were eyeball deep up, up in it. But now my mom and dad were from, from Moorhead and Olive Hill, Kentucky. No, friends, that's, that's not in the mountains, that's under the mountains. <clears throat> and home of Tom T. Hall, so big country music area. And right there on the same, the same road in Louisa and all, that's Ricky Skaggs, Keith Whitley. I mean, and all of the, just as country and uh, bluegrass as you could get. And so one of my dad's favorite groups was these fellas right here, Flat and Scruggs. And I, I guess he just, he sold it into me so much. They're my favorite traditional bluegrass group. I love them. Bev makes me turn them down when I play them, but it's just the way it is. So I'm going to play, let me see, I'm going to play, okay, let me find this. This will be for, uh, this will be for, for my dad, my mom and dad, but especially for my dad. Flat and Scrubs, preaching, praying, singing on the old county square. Preaching, praying, Woo! singing everywhere, shouting with praises of love and care. Friends and neighbors, you know that's good. Look at all those fingers going up. <laughs> I was strange there, very hey, careful hey, my way. Way. But when I saw the crowd, I had the urge to stay. I heard a welcome voice bidding me to come and share. The preacher praying and singing down on the public square. Preaching, praying, singing everywhere. Shouting with praises of love and care All of God's children sing together there Preacher praying, singing down, down on the public square Singing no more on the square. Listen to Earl play that guitar with those thumb picks and finger picks. Journey on, think back on the day. I am convinced of them. These folks have found a way to put their hearts in song. Just praying on this prayer and leave the old bell ringing down on the public square. Preach and pray, sing everywhere. Shouting the praises. All the love and care, all of God's children sing together there, preaching, praying, singing down, down on, on the public square. Yeah, man. Preaching, praying, singing down on the public square. Now, you know that was good right there. You know, come on, friends and neighbors. Go ahead and throw some hearts and some. Some thumbs up on that right there, because that right there is good stuff. So, okay, I've got a couple stories about that. And then, go get your dessert. We're going to eat together here in our uh, uh, date night. Okay, so, um, let's see. Here's, here's one story. My, uh, my uncle, uh, Bill Johnson, in Ashland, Kentucky, was a huge, huge bluegrass promoter. I mean, one of the big Mac daddies back in the uh, 50s and 60s and early 70s. And uh, he had a big bluegrass festival. And we happened to be in town on the weekend of this bluegrass festival. And so we went over to their house. This was on a, I think maybe Thursday night. It was going to start Friday night, I believe. I, mean, I could have that part wrong. But anyway, so we go over. I'm going to spend the night. 
And who happens to be there with the Martha White bus there in the yard? Flat and Scruggs and the entire band. I am not kidding as sure as I'm sitting in this seat. And at the ripe age of, I think I was five at the time, Earl Scruggs put me on his knee and showed me how to do a three finger roll on a banjo. <laughs> I'm not kidding, it's the truth. Matter of fact, and then like, oh, good night. When did I play on that Earl Scruggs record there? I don't know, it's probably been oh. 10 years ago. Maybe. Okay, so around 2010. So how many years would that be? That's uh, when I was five. So 40 some years ago. Uh, no, yeah. Okay, I've been 40 some years, 50 some years from now, but 40 years later, I'm playing Manlin on an Earl Scruggs record, and then I've got it up there on the on the wall where he autographed it and all that kind of stuff. Absolutely, just crazy, crazy stuff. I'm I don't even have words for me <laughs> in my life but uh, then so later that night I mean it's the middle of the night because they're picking and singing and carrying on and so the middle of the night I'm wore out everybody's wore out we go to bed and so my aunt makes a uh, what they call in the in East Kentucky a pallet y'all know what that is you probably don't city slickers but a pallet on the floor in one of the bedrooms and Lester Flat is going to bed asleep up in the bed and I'm in the floor. So I'm sleeping in the bedroom with Lester Flat and Earl Scruggs shows me how to play a uh, a, a three finger front roll on a banjo. Only Les Butler. Nobody else in the world has, I'm gonna have a book and it's gonna be a dandy. So anyway, so there's some Flat and Scruggs, that was for my dad. So there's that memory. Okay, um, let's see. Let's eat. When we do that, I'll, I'll get one song play, uh, to play for you. Let me see. We'll do, um, let's see here. Let's, okay, you mentioned, okay, Canaan Record Club, the cathedrals. Now, this was, this was back when we were dating right here. When we first started, this would have been right there. It's 1979 is this <laughs> record, so that's when, when, when we, we first started dating. So this was the quartet that we would have heard in our in our first uh, first dates, and the Cathedral Quartet. God bless their hearts. They used to come up and up north all the time. They were, you know, they were from Stowe, Ohio, and they used to come up north all the time. Chicago, uh, Northwest Indiana, South Bend mm -hmm. at Morris Civic Auditorium, and um, so I became a huge Cathedral fan. And I mean, my top. Four groups in the world are the Happy Goodmans and the Hensons, the Cathedrals and the Inspirations and the uh, 1970s Kingsman can't be beat. But uh, so, okay, so we'll play, um, man, there's so much good stuff on here. Let's do You Ain't Heard Nothing Yet. This was the title song from it. Get your dessert, get to eating. I'm going to eat with you while we uh, listen to the cathedrals here. Let me try to find this. What'd you get for dessert? Cheesecake. Friends and neighbors. It's my favorite food in the world. Tell them if I'm telling the truth. Yes, it's your favorite. It's my favorite. Without any stuff on it. <laughs> don't, no yeah. Stuff. Don't, don't <laughs> cob it all up with a bunch of stuff. Just <laughs> cheesecake. I put right. the stuff on the side. Yeah, on the side's okay. And sometimes I've dipped my fork in it, like in the strawberries and that kind of thing. All right, here we go. Cathedral. Let's eat. You ain't heard nothing yet. Many songs are sung today we think are mighty fine. They've got a pretty melody, good rhythm and good rhyme. Then we think they're really Yeah, Terry, I'm with you. We well, you know, we're just, just getting a good start on that. And maybe we're a little old, Terry. <laughs> Yeah. 
going to finish eating then we'll go to God's word for a minute then we'll call it a night but while while we're eating so y'all type what are y'all eating I want to know what else we got cheesecake with some of the thickest strawberry stuff I've ever seen in my life it looks like cherries but it's actually it's strawberries right yeah it is. okay it's just really dark though I'm telling you this is good cheesecake where's it from Publix get you some Publix cheesecake I'm giving them an A the next time we do one of these I'll get us a cheesecake from um Marina's it's a little uh, Italian restaurant in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and it's the greatest cheesecake ever in the world. And I'm a cheesecake connoisseur. I know what I'm talking about. What are y'all eating? Leftovers. <laughs> Mike Keller said leftovers. Nothing wrong with leftovers, Mike. I had leftovers for lunch. It was good. Have y'all had fun tonight? Date night. We just all quarantine up together and have a date night. Already had dinner here. Me too. Get some dessert, Karen. Somebody was getting ready to eat some ice cream with us. Yum. We love ice cream, don't Mike we? Mike was eating ribs. That's because he's a braggart. <clears throat> <laughs> Mike likes bragging. Beef jerky. Some <coughs> <ice cream. clears throat> Aubrey, beef jerky is not dessert, man. It's okay. Chicken salad. Oh, I love that. chicken salad, Mike Keller. What you talking about? That's his favorite. That's my favorite, man. I'd rather have chicken salad than a, than our T-bone steak. Oh, Sue's eating with us. Strawberries with blueberry shortcake. Come oh, man, on, Sue. Sue. Yeah. <laughs> My dad's eating freeze pop. <laughs> <laughs> My father-in-law loves, loves freeze pops more than <laughs> any kid ever in the world. <clears throat> Let me tell you about my Aunt Sue, since she's on here and we're eating. We ate at her house the first year of our whole marriage. <laughs> you don't. I mean, I'm busy. We ate dinner at, at Aunt Sue's house, I think, every day just about of the first year of our marriage she fed us we would have starved slapped you. to death the first year <laughs> of our marriage if it wasn't for my aunt sue key lime pie is next aubrey stevens get me some key lime pie i'll give you my address <laughs> mail it to me but go ahead sue oh yeah and sue is the dessert queen when you go visit sue she puts out a spread that's just unbelievable and the yep. dessert is always just top notch yep the best. Yep. We leave 10 pounds heavier when we leave Miss Aunt Sue's house. If Adam and Angel were on here, they'd be amen in your preaching right now. Adam, who plays and sings with the Old Time Preachers Quartet, um, he stayed with my Aunt Sue the last time we were down there and his family in uh, 
So, you know, just... <laughs> she put out the spread at like midnight. <laughs> midnight, just was tearing them up. <laughs> they loved it. They talk about it all the time. Man, I love Brother chicken chop. Hey, Brother Hamlin. It's a happy anniversary. Brother Hamlin, if you're just joining in, you need to go back to the beginning and watch this. You'll enjoy every bit of this. He's you'll, from Chicago. You'll enjoy the music. Right? Well, close. Michigan. Michigan. Yeah. But, I mean, wasn't he originally from there? Am I Brother wrong? Hamlin, you, you weren't originally from Chicago, were you? He's the one that told us about the crime museum. Yeah. Which, by the way, I don't know if awesome. I've talked to you since then, awesome. but we went to that crime museum. Oh, no, it was a tour. It was a crime tour. That's or the was. tour. Yeah, that's right. We got on a bus and, and did the whole crime tour up in Chicago with um, Al Capone and all that business. Man. It was great. It was great. You did good, Brother Hamlin. Thank you for that lead right there. But you need to go back and listen to all this. You're going to love this. And uh, if, if you're just joining us, get your wife and get some, uh, some dessert toward the end, like what we're doing. This is date night. We're just having our dessert with all of our friends on Facebook Live. So get some with Sister Hamlet, okay? All right. Now, we're going to go to the Bible here for a minute. Bible is a good place to go to. <laughs> Anytime. <clears throat> Morning, noon, and night. Go look at Proverbs chapter what am I, 31, verses 10 through 12. I'm going to go to three places here. This is going to be real quick. But I just, or earlier I was talking about making it 37 years in marriage, and, it, and I didn't make it. It wasn't because of me, and it wasn't because of her, but it was God's grace and mercy that's carried us 37 years. And if the Lord doesn't come back, if we're going to see 38 years, it's not going to be because of me or her. It's going to be the mercies and the grace of, uh, of the Lord. And, uh, but anyway, uh, let's look at Proverbs 31, verses 10 through 12. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? Men, put some hearts up in the air on that. There ain't enough gold in Fort Knox to be able to buy and find a virtuous woman. Yes, put them all up in the air, men. You know I'm telling the truth. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. Young folks, if, if there's any young folks watching, listen to me. Young man, do not date and go with a young lady that you cannot trust. Because it'll never work. Without trust, you will stand no chance of having that relationship work. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. You find a virtuous woman, that's one you can trust, that's one that will do good and one that you can spend your life with and have a happy, blessed, fulfilled, wonderful life. Go to Colossians real quick here. 3, 18. No, no, no. Let's do this. Let's go to 1 Peter first. 1 Peter, chapter 3, verse 7. Real quick. Now, that was mostly about the, the wife. Now, here, husbands, take note. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. Now, I don't want to start no big, big fight <laughs> with this weaker vessel business. <clears throat> My wife is a strong woman. Just trust me. Just in every aspect that you can, every category that you can line up, she is a strong woman. Giving honor unto the wife. But that's really, you know, let me just give you 10 seconds of that, man. Get, get honor. If you have a good wife, worth more than rubies, worth more than all the golden Fort Knox, you need to honor her.
and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. You need to honor your wife, a good woman. We honor sports stars, music stars, rich and famous, and none of them would put you out if you were on fire. Yet men, we find it hard sometimes to honor our wives. Shame on you, shame on me, and shame on all of us. All right, Colossians 3, 18 through 21, and we'll call it a night. Don't mean, to, don't mean to start no fights with this either, but don't shoot the messenger. You got a problem, talk to Jesus about it, because this is all his doings here. Wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as it is fit in the Lord. The Lord deems it a fit circumstance, a fit way of doing business for a wife to submit themselves, submit herself to her husband. But hang on, husbands. Listen, you're in this deal. Love your wives and be not bitter against them. Don't hold stuff against them. Let go. <laughs> let go and let God. If there's any children listening, listen to this. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing unto the Lord. And fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. What a problem in America today. First off, one of the biggest problems is there's no such thing as a father anymore. They don't exist. Here comes a baby. When the baby comes, they're gone. Doesn't exist. That's a problem. You hang in there. You be a dad, a real dad. Through the thick and through the thin and through the hard times, be a dad. Be there. Be there with this book right here. And when it's time to, don't make me have to sing a Bible on a belt. Crack the whip. I'm sure glad my dad did on me. No telling what in the world, where I would be or what I'd be doing now, if not for that. But anyway, husbands, love your wives. Okay? You'll be better off for it. Happy wife. Happy life. Happy life. Amen. All right, that's it for tonight. Have y'all had a good time? Now listen, we just did get, I thought we were going to get through Plum up to 2020. We've yet to get past 1980. <laughs> we got too much history. We need to <laughs> I'm going to write a book one day, and it is going to be a dandy. I promise you that. <laughs> well, let's read a few things that's being said here before we go. Here, I'll hold that. Here, let me hold this cheesecake for you. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me for a moment. Yeah, you mean you don't want to hold the iPad? You want no, to the I don't want to hold the iPad. Oh I want to my. hold the cheesecake. Okay. What's it say? Well, we got um, happy anniversary Thank from you. Charles Hampton. Oh, uh, Kentucky Charles. Yeah. And Brother John's amen and you and amen and you and amen and you. Bill Barry Rowland's watching. Come on, B-Roll. You know I was preaching the truth there. Yeah, he says church time. Uh, let's see. Who else in here? Kevin Garrett just got on. I'm going to call you next week, Barry. We're going, to get, we're going to set up a meeting. I'm so excited, Barry. I want to tell the whole world about our last conversation. But I'm being a good boy. I'm not. I'll get with you. Who else? Um, hey, Kevin Garrett. Kevin, yeah. Kevin Lakeland, Garrett. Lakeland, Florida. Aubrey Stevens. <clears throat> Brother John wants us to sing. We'll sing on the next go around. We didn't get past 1980, Brother John. We need to get a little bit past 1980. And I'll see if Bev will sing one with me on the next go around. Will you do it again with me? Sure. Okay. I got more great pictures. We got more great music. I mean, I got it stacked up here and things put all over the place. But uh, 
I thought we'd get to 2020. We got to 1980, friends. Lord of mercy. We've done a lot. God's been good to us. Barry Rowland, love you guys. We love you all, Barry. Excited about 2021 if the Lord doesn't come back. All right, friends, that's it. Hey, hit share. Would you hit share and let other uh, couples see this? And, I mean, it doesn't have to be couples, men, women of all ages, boys, girls. I, I touched on everybody and everything. And the music was as good as it gets. It'll bless anybody, any age. So hit share. And uh, what is today? Stay Friday? I'll be back tomorrow sometime, probably um, mid-afternoon, with another Facebook Live with less Southern Gospel music, memorabilia, memories, and ministry. God bless you. Good night.